One of the questions is, how many people do I need to run this system? And the, the answer is, three to four on a typical job makes a lot of sense. I'd have somebody in the packing or the unpacking area, area so they're removing items from the, from the boxes, placing them into baskets, and placing maybe the baskets into the pre-wash. I have somebody that's manning the ultrasonic and the sink. I have somebody that is handling the dryer section and then somebody that's repacking. So three is really a good number. If I'm trying to get a lot of throughput, I could put four. What you should never see in a full system like this is you should not see any of your employees not doing anything. You should not see people standing with their hands folded. If one of the stations gets ahead, generally the, pa the unpacking station can move a lot faster than anybody else. That person should shift their efforts once they get ahead to another area that's being backlogged. So a, a bottleneck would be typically the pa person repacking. It takes a lot longer to repack than it does to unpack. So I can, I can open a box and start unwrapping and dropping components in, or contents into baskets a lot faster than I can take and repack, because you want to be very careful that we're repacking properly so we don't have damage. The, uh, the other thing, so what, it, what I generally will have people do is the unpacking person, when they get ahead, they will come over to the repacking station, build up boxes, and maybe convert the labels or the coating from the dirty box to a clean box so that that repacking person can really stay focused on repacking. Uh, so four is if you're trying to get to high, high rates of speed of contents, maybe say 20 boxes an hour, you'd want four people. But you can very effectively run this with three people. If the job is incredibly small, you can get away with maybe a couple people. You're just not going to get the throughput. But you can still use all the stations. What will happen here is the repacking is your bottleneck, and that will set the speed for the whole system. So I can't move anything more into the dryer. The dryer will handle three baskets of contents. I can't push any more product through the dryer than the person packing can pack. So now that creates a nice flow of content. So the first few boxes that come through, you've got people standing around. But once we've got maybe five, six boxes into the system, you've got a natural flow. And that will then create a system where the pre-wash is sitting with baskets for three, two to three to five minutes. And the ultrasonic, again, as you've seen, is a, very, is a much quicker process. But we can only go as fast as I, my person can repack. So in our next segment, we're going to actually take some components or some contents and we're going to clean them. But we're going to add soap. So we'll do that in the next segment.